the phone call and she sent us a whole bunch of recommendations. One of them is for this uh, Chan Tang, which is where you come to get breakfast. This is called Australian Dairy Company and there is always a lineup. So we lined up, it moved super quickly and now we've been seated with some other people. We have just ordered and we are so excited. Uh, so we kept the talking to a minimum, but just to talk you through what we decided to get, uh, we were told that the best options were scrambled egg on toast. Simple as it sounds, absolutely phenomenal. And on top of that, you also have Hong Kong style French toast. And as you also have a set menu option, mine also came with a ham and macaroni soup, which was delicious. And then on top of that, Hong Kong style milk tea. All of which has been wonderful. This is kind of a crushed environment, not because they're rude or anything, it's just so popular and the efficiency is insane here. Highly recommend you come here, there's a reason, there's a lineup. We have come down to the gorgeous Victoria Harbour and we're soaking in the views. Alongside that though, then we are coming to what is known as the Avenue of Stars. This was established in 1982 and was inspired by Hollywood's Walk of Fame and basically serves the same function. It's to celebrate Hong Kong's film industry and all of the people that have made it what it is. So far, Hong Kong is exactly what I expected it to be. It's this modern metropolis and Victoria Harbour is gorgeous. Like the skyline here with all of these modern buildings with these huge companies and then the mountains in the back and we got our first peak of Victoria Peak. <laughs> uh -huh. Peak of a peak, which we're gonna go to tomorrow, I think. It's just amazing here. I have this really great feeling. I really like it. The Avenue of the Stars is also really cool. Unlike the Walk of Fame whereby you got the handprints like as tiles on the floor, they actually got the handprints as like the guardrail as you look out over the harbor. And it's just amazing because like in amongst a lot of actors, directors, filmmakers, that have made a real mark on the Hong Kong film industry. There's a lot that have also gone very much international as well. And there's a number of names that I recognize because I watched a bunch of their films as I was growing up. And you're talking about, you know, Chow Yun Fat, Jet Li, Michelle Yeoh, Jackie Chan. I, I used to kind of grow up watching all of those films and it's just really, really cool to see them properly immortalized in the right way and then obviously the true centerpiece is the statue of Bruce Lee at one end of the walk as well so yeah this has been really cool so far
We've now arrived at Wang Tai Sin Temple, which is a Taoist temple dedicated to Wang Tai Sin, who is a god associated with healing. The temple was apparently built in the late 19th century and alongside Taoist literature, it also contains literature from Confucianism and Buddhism. I'm so happy we decided to come to Wong Tai Sin Temple. This whole complex is absolutely gorgeous. The colors here are just so vibrant, like all the reds, greens, blues, golds. It's incredible. It is modeled after Chinese architecture, so you definitely see that influence in the paintings, the carving, the zodiac signs, even like in the garden here, which is so peaceful, the koi fish. And I think Nick's favorite part is that there's turtles. I do love me a good turtle. But I think, yes, there's a lot of people, but fundamentally every is here for peaceful purposes, coming to worship, coming to just take in this complex and everything that has to offer. And especially when you come to this garden, it's just so relaxing. You can really feel a calming presence here. It's great. And because this is a working temple, we're trying to be respectful, but it's also interesting because you get to see how people are worshipping here. Because there are shrines and there's a lot of use of incense. And it's just interesting to see it all in action. still not feeling my absolute best. My throat is still pretty sore, so we just kind of wanted to take it easy late this afternoon and early this evening. Last night when we arrived, we discovered a very cheap and delicious sushi place that does takeaway. So we've just decided to go for that again tonight. So we're gonna go ahead, enjoy that, and look forward to exploring more of Hong Kong tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. 
We've just arrived at one. We've just arrived at Wan Tai Sin Temple. This is a Confucian temple dedicated. It's a Taoist temple. For <laughs> sake. We asked for half sweet, and that was probably the right call because it's the really perfect mix where you can taste the tea, you can taste the lemon, 